and welcome back to the Ship of Thesis and our Crusader Kings 3 tutorial series. Um, I apologise it's taken me a while to get back to this, um, but rather than spend time explaining as to why, I'm just going to launch straight into the video uh, and I'm going to try and treat you guys to uh, a more regular cycle of at least a video a week. And try and keep those videos into 10 to 15 minutes in length, um, but condensed on a particular topic. So... Without wasting any further time, let's talk about our topic for today, which is going to be uh, claims. Before we discuss claims, I'm going to talk about titles, because that's what you actually claim. You claim a title. So if I press F1, we can look at Count Gunberg here, my favourite character in Crusader Kings. Uh, and you can see that we currently have a claim, and that's because I generated one using console commands, which is why we have this uh, fetching uh, pinky purple um, font appearing in my tooltips. So don't worry about that. It's because we're using dirty cheat codes so that I can set the scenarios up. Um, rather than spend hours uh, generating it. Anyway, we can see that we currently have a claim uh, and we also have titles. So titles are basically what... Um, uh, titles are basically a certificate of ownership for a parcel of land. Uh, so the title of Augsburg is who should own the, the, you know, the, the county of Augsburg. Um, anything up here, which is under titles, is a title you already possess. Anything down here in a claim is a title you say you should possess, but do not. Um, so we talked about uh, de jour and uh, de facto in one of the earlier videos, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Um, but effectively, this is just a way to you know kind of trump up reasons as to why I should own the county of Ulm here. Now, that's actually a pressed claim, uh, and that... That leads very nicely onto the fact that there are three different types of claims um, in Crusader Kings 3, and we're going to discuss all of them. Um, so a press claim is the equivalent of a strong claim in Crusader Kings 2, not quite, but mostly, um, in that it's kind of a it's kind of a, a decent claim, like it's got some backing behind it, um, and a press claim will pass on to your heir. Um, so our player heir, uh, Mainhard von Kempton, he would get. Um, the the claim on the county of Ulm because it is a oppressed claim. The other type of claims uh, that is in the game is an implicit claim. So if we click on our heir, main hard here, we can see he actually has three claims and they're all implicit because he's their son. Uh, he implicitly claims all of the territory that we already own. And that basically all of our sons. So our daughters won't, as you can see here, they don't have any claims whatsoever. Uh, but every single son that we have and I did generate all of these babies with console commands. Um, every single son that we have is um, implicitly claiming, you know, bits of our realm. Um, upon death, um, things will change here. Like this will, um, these will switch over to being pressed claims um, for anything that they don't directly inherit. So we're going to show that in just a moment. But first, um, I'm going to show you that the easiest method to generate a claim um, is what we did in the previous video. It We talked about our realm priest uh, up here. So our suffragan bishop here has the fabricate claim on county. So this is the absolute easiest way um, for you to, um, you know, create a create a claim um you can claim anywhere on the map pretty much you can claim at like a county level um generally you kind of want to do it close to your own borders for fairly obvious reasons uh so we're just going to place a claim here on the county of grunigan uh and what i'm going to do is i'm literally going to unpause the game now um pause the pause the video unpause the game fast forward to the point where we've uh, generated the claim before we talk a bit more so so there you go for you that was absolutely seamless uh and it all just worked um Please ignore the, the horrible lines that are being displayed on here. This is just because the game is running in debug mode. Um, so once you've generated a claim, so after time has ticked by, um, you get a claim on the county of Grunigan. You do need to pay some gold for it. We have 100, 172 gold right now, so we can afford it. I'm going to click see it done. Uh, and now if I press F1, we can see we have two claims uh, and they are of different types. So the one that we generated using console commands uh, was a pressed claim. And the one that we've generated using the fabricate claim on county is an unpressed claim. So that's the one type of claim that we haven't talked about now. Uh, that type of claim would be lost. If we do not press that claim in war, um, then it will not be passed on to our dynasty. It will be lost from our character. Um, so... To be clear, you only have to press it in war. So that means you, you only have to use it as a reason to fight. Um, so that will convert it into a pressed claim. The only time that won't happen is if you lose that war. Because then you have to rescind your 
uh, your claim, basically. Um, but as long as you either win, in which case you'll gain the title, or um, you have a white piece, then you can convert that unpressed claim into being a pressed claim, and then it will be passed on to your primary heir. Um, so those are the three types. Implicit, basically everything your parent owns. So all of our, all of our sons who are eligible to inherit. Um, and our daughters, if we had no eligible sons, uh, because of our particular succession law, um, would get implicit claims on everything we currently own. Um, the pressed claims will be passed down to our primary heir. So this chappy here will get it. In fact, we're going to demonstrate that right now. We're calling up console commands and killing. Uh, poor Guntbert here. Poor Guntbert. May he rest in peace. Uh, but we can see that now he's died, um, a big succession thing has happened. Um, which again is where civil wars start. Because I generated all of these children. We had lots of people. So claims again can be used against you. Now all of our siblings uh, claimed, or some of our siblings, claimed parts of this empire. Um, which it, it's useful to see. So we can see that we inherited the county of Augsburg in that particular succession. Um, and we now have three claims. We have an unpressed claim on the county of Ulm. So that was the pressed claim that our father had. Uh, and then that's now converted into an unpressed claim. Uh, and we also have a pressed claim. So that was the implicit claim on the county of Kempton and the county of Burgo. So our siblings now own these areas. And if we click on them, we can see they in turn um, have... An unpressed claim on the county of Ulm. Um, so it looks like it's not just your primary heir. I may have misspoken. It looks like it's your uh, eligible succession. I think that might be limited to a certain number of sons, to be fair. Um, I wasn't aware it would just... Maybe it does just pass down. And maybe I learned something new in doing this video. Um, but yeah, you can see that uh, our siblings... Um, all have pressed claims on each other's territory. And this is where your civil wars break out, basically. So you need to kind of be aware of that. Uh, but that shows you broad, on the broad strokes of how claims work. An implicit claim, everything your parents had, uh, and when succession happens, becomes a press claim. Uh, a press claim is a reasonably strong claim, can be passed on to your children, uh, and when it is passed on, becomes an unpressed claim, and then unpressed claim will not be passed on to your children unless you can convert it into a pressed claim uh, and you get unpressed claims from using your council action so how are we doing we are at seven minutes so we're doing pretty good uh, so the next thing that i wanted to talk about was very very briefly i wanted to talk about councillors so the magic number for councillors is 16. Um, if we hover over the fabricate claim on county you can see that the only possible side effect that could happen for our realm priest is that he could uh, generate us a claim on a duchy which would be amazing it would mean that uh, if we were claiming the county of grunigan uh, he could actually end up getting us a claim on all of this and claiming the entire duchy of swabia um which would be amazing if he did it uh, did it but it's kind of like a you know, a, a small percentage chance of, like, occasionally it will happen. You can't rely on it, but it's cool when it does. Uh, the higher their value up here, the more likely that will happen. But the this, the reason that 16 is a magic number is because um, that makes only the, the positive side effects potentially happen. So if we have a look at our Chancellor here, he's a 12. Um, and if we hover over uh, Foreign Affairs, we can see that he has a possible side effect to a shortened truce. That's a positive thing. But he can potentially make an enemy claim, shorten an enemy truce, or make the neighbour have an opinion loss of us. Um, and that's because he doesn't have that magic number of 16 or above. Um, I believe, and I could be misquoting, but I believe the other magic number is 8. And it's a bad magic number because then you only get the negative possible side effects. Uh, or you lose the option to get the, the positive side effects, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, so bear that in mind when you're picking your counsellors. Um, so when you're starting out the game, the fundamental way to expand would probably be to use your Realm Priest here and use your Fabricate Claim on County. Uh, when you're expanding, it's probably worth um, considering what is um, like in the du jour area. So if we click on Grunigan, we can see here in the top left, there's the Duchy, the Kingdom and the Empire uh, that it's du jour part of. Just pick away counties that are part of duchies. When you own enough of a duchy, you'll be able to like create... Uh, the title for the duchy if it doesn't exist or be able to fight over it um, so that's something to start out with um, when the game um, starts in, in the opening phases beyond that there are other ways to generate claims so one of the other things I did with my naughty console commands uh, was I gave oh no I killed that character wait let's just reload him and see if we can get away with it 
uh, by reloading. Uh, one of the other things that we did with those naughty console commands is that we gave uh, Count Gunberg here every single lifestyle. Um, so if we click into stewardship, um, there is... I believe it's stewardship, or am I completely misspeaking? Uh, no, I am completely misspeaking. It's learning. Um, so, yes, there is the uh, sanctioned loopholes um, perk that lives inside of learning. Um, so you can use this to, to do the buy claim interaction, uh, which allows you to use piety in order for you to purchase a claim. So that's another way for you to get a claim on things. Uh, kings or emperors may not buy claims on kingdom titles. Emperors may not buy claims on other titles. Uh, no one may buy a claim on their head of faith. So there are some... Um, limitations and a vassal cannot buy a claim on their liege um, so that's uh, one thing uh, to consider um, there are other ways for you to get um, some benefits around claims so in the martial lifestyle uh, you've got bellum justum here um, that uh, allows you to reduce the cost of the castle's belly um, that you use um, we're probably going to talk about that more in the war scenario but you know it's kind of relevant claims are, are all part of declaring war um, we've also got Diplomacy. Uh, there is Ducal Conquest here. So that allows you to use the Ducal con uh, Conquest Casus Belli. Um, so as we said before, um, you can fight over a duchy. Uh, and sometimes your Chancellor, or sorry, your uh, Realm Priest could have generated you that claim. Uh, or you can, you know, use, use this here once you've got that claim. Or I should say, you can use this here when you've got that claim rather than or. Um, so... Those are a couple of uh, lifestyle ways as to how you could um, get a claim. Uh, the other way is that you could just literally uh, ask your um, head of faith. So if you make your head of faith like you a lot, um, you could... I'm going to right click on this guy. Now you're going to have to ignore all of the deb debug commands in here. They won't be there. Uh, but you can... Uh, so you can see here we can buy a claim. And that's because we've got the option to pay piety to gain a claim. Um, so if I click on that, you can see... I just spend it uh, and it, it's just going to happen. So it's a very powerful uh, perk. Um, or I can ask, I can request the Pope. Now you can see here the Pope's not going to accept. Um, you're going to need to make the Pope like you a lot. You're also going to make the uh, want to try and make the Pope hate your target. And there are various other ways that you could go about doing that. And we maybe will discuss some of those um, probably in the intrigue um, elements of this tutorial. Um, but... Getting them excommunicated is a fantastic way um, to, to make the Pope really not like them and be more likely to give uh, give it to you. The other way is uh, if they're a child or if they're a woman, uh, he's much more likely to give it to you, uh, particularly if you're a man and not a child yourself. Um, so those are a number of ways you could expand. Um, there are other ways in the game as well. If you were playing as a tribal ruler, then you have different options, like because you've got different government type. Uh, they have awesome uh, Cassus Bellies where they can fight over entire kingdoms um, and yeah you can kind of also claim kingdoms in holy wars as well that's that's like doing a claim without actually possessing a claim itself in in this part of the screen here um, but that's a pretty you know it's a bit of a whirlwind overview but I think it really hit the broad strokes that's what claims are they allow you to gain these titles they allow you to expand your realm uh, they also as you've seen if your kingdom splits uh, they're also a, a way for you to get your kingdom back together again um, or indeed for a civil war to happen uh, that's not in your favor. Um, so you do need to be aware of them. The AI will be doing all of this. Uh, all, blah, 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 let me learn to speak. The AI will be doing all of this to you as well. Uh, so they will be requesting claims uh, against you. They will be trying to discredit you against, uh, for the Pope and, and all of those other things. So you'll need to defend against it as, as well as uh, use it offensively. Um, but uh, once you get to the, the right point, you can start fighting over duchies uh, and you can also uh, fight over a kingdom title and, and get yourself much bigger and more powerful. Once you get to a kingdom level, it's a lot harder for you to um, just bully your way up to... You can't just buy another kingdom, for instance, um, from, from the Pope once you already have one. Um, but at that point, you're much more powerful and can oppress people below you now there actually is another part uh, of the game where you can do claims uh, that i almost neglected to mention um and i figured i'll just put this in as a post edit uh, so you can also uh do claims if you are the dynastic head you can um you can use claims against uh your dynasty um to to kind of 
well, claim things as your own, pretty much. Uh, it's also a very good way, if you go in here and click on the uh, living members, um, you can see much more easily than, than kind of sometimes going through the character screen who has claims on what. So this is their entire dynasty, uh, and we can see just how many claims uh, people have and very easily what claims um, they are. Um, so I think... Um, I can't actually really demonstrate this right now because nobody has a claim. I'm probably going to have to add a claim via console commands for you uh, so then that I can reclaim it uh, as the dynastic head. So bear with me. So there we are. Through the magic console commands, uh, we have now given our daughter here uh, a county. We've given her the county of Baden, uh, which is over here. Uh, so you can see she is now actually her, a ruler in her own right, uh, but not for long, or at least it wouldn't be if we were playing. Uh, we could go to our, our dynasty here uh, and click on the 10 living members, uh, and or we could click on her in, in the uh, the other screen, uh, and we can see she's just listed here. The, the shield next to her shows that she actually has a title to her name, and she's listed as a countess. If we right-click on her, uh, some of the options appear here, and we have... Uh, claim title and you can see this little tree here dynastic head interaction claim a title held by countess euphemia for yourself so if you click on that i would gain an unpressed claim on the county of baden uh, so that is the way uh, that you can leverage this as your uh, dynasty seeds itself over the map uh, and becomes you know very wealthy and power powerful and notorious you may be able to gain other lands by simply getting a, a claim on their title uh, so that's another option that's available for you and also that screen like i said very useful for seeing your dynasty uh, and uh, all of the potential claims to be the house head we'll do a whole different video on this uh, but to be the dynastic head you kind of have to be the uh the most powerful um house um within within your dynasty but we'll talk about it in a different video uh hopefully that's uh given you another claim to consider anyway i am going to wrap up the video there because i'm trying to keep these relatively short and sweet and i think i've answered uh most of the things around claims if you feel that i haven't um please do leave a comment below um and i will either address it there or maybe it will even feature in a future video um and if you could maybe even like thumbs up this video for me and even hit the subscribe and the bell button that actually helps me the youtube algorithm is not kind um so please do that that'd be nice if you don't eh, fair enough uh i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time when we're going to talk about mindset and successions uh so i will see you in the next one thank you very much for watching bye for now